what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika if you are new and if you're joining us for the first time make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below so I'm about to go to the dentist I'm sure you guys can tell by the title today is the day that I'm supposed to be getting my permanent retainer put on but y'all know how my dentist is normally they call me like the day before my appointment to say like are you coming in? And I just realized today that they didn't call me to give me that call. So I'm kind of wondering, like, do they even remember that I'm coming in? Like, am I even on the docket for the day? Like, something's telling me I'm not. But I'm going to try to stay positive and just hope that I am and hope everything can go smoothly. I've been wearing my retainer all day, y'all. Like, well, not all day because it's only 1 o'clock. But I've been wearing it religiously. I do what I'm supposed to do. But um, I think I've talked about it in like one of my regular vlogs. That like if I keep the top retainer out for 10 minutes, my gap is already opening back up. So I purposely been keeping it on for pretty much 24 hours throughout the day. Unless I'm eating or drinking, I make sure I at least have the top in. Right now I have both. Because y'all left a lot of comments telling me that I should wear both. But I'm going to take the bottom out because the dentist told me don't wear both. So I don't want them to see that I've been wearing both. But I say all that to say that I hope my top gap is closed completely when I get to the dentist. So that when she put the permanent retainer on, it's no space left. Like, it's, it's still closed. So hopefully that's what it is. I'm about to um, take the bottom out though. So yeah. I'm going to take these with me because I think I'm going to have to get a new top. But, yeah, I'll see y'all in the car. If y'all see that the quality changed, y'all should know because I've said it a couple times. But it's because I'm on my iPhone and not the vlog camera. Hello. Hi. Hey, I'm back. Okay, what happened? Um, I need my, uh, my partner. Let's see. Take out your, like that thing. You're not touching it, right? Mm -hmm. I, did I clear you? Mm-hmm. I did? Okay. Let me no, no. You weren't here to clear me. Take off your, uh... Retainer. Yeah, if you don't mind. The permanent retainer goes in the inside, right? Right. So, on the bottom, a lot of fishes go to the bottom. That's fine. Right. But on the upper, if you have a perk in the inside, if you bite on it, it's going to break off. Right. So, most fishes don't qualify for upper permanent. Right. You know, in your case, you could do bottom, but I might not recommend upper because, like I said, the way you bite it, your, your bottom people will hit it and break it off. A lot of fishes, like I said, will, will majority of the time get lower only. Upper is not as common. Do you remember how my teeth were? I can copy photos. Yeah, because then you'll see, like, I had a huge gap. Face. So even if I leave this retainer off for 15 minutes, it'll come back. Open it back. I know. That's uh, the retention is relapse is like huge. Okay, what I would say is um, what you can do is just do a short permanent retainer. Okay. The permanent retainer usually goes from canine to canine, it covers six teeth. Oh. But, but like I said, because of right, the way right. your overlap is, I can't go all the way. You're going to, because when you, if you bite on it, it's, it's just going to break off within a few days, you know, and I okay. wouldn't, it, it's like I, I stole your money then. You know, I don't want you to right, do that. Right, right, right. Um, I could do it. It'll just be like the front two to four teeth only. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, even if both the permanent because you had a space, that clear retainer is still super, super important to wear. Okay. You know, I mean, as annoying it is, as it is because it's removable, right. um, it's really important because it covers every surface of every tooth. Mm -hmm. So that clear retainer is gold, honestly. It works very well. Okay. A permanent retainer is like a wire on the inside. So sometimes, um, you know, the forces of like those fibers might be a little um, like that. The, because it, ideally what happens is between the tooth and the bone are fibers, mm -hmm. right? Oh. Called PDL fibers. Okay. With braces, as teeth are shifting and moving, those fibers are getting stretched. Right. So when the braces come off, those fibers want to go back to where they were. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that, that like, that, um, the forces of those fibers to bring those teeth back to where they were is very strong, actually. Okay. So you cannot rely only on the permanent retainer either. I would say you'd have to you'd probably do both. both. Yeah. Okay. So if I do the permanent, you might need a nuclear one over it and just wear that, you know, okay. like at nighttime or something. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, you saw where you're saying with the clear, you're noticing I'm telling you, 10 minutes and it's back. Um, did they talk to you about maybe a gingiva, not gingiva, uh, uh, what is it? The phrenectomy. Fi fibro fibrotomy and phrenectomy. You guys did yeah. my phrenectomy. And still, yeah, in the beginning, yeah, it's in still the opening beginning. up, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's. I've noticed that it's it's uh -huh. grown back a little bit. It's not the skin isn't completely gone. No, it, it is a higher up. So even that, like, we, we recommend that for patients have spaces, and we tell them it should also like 
lessen the chances of a relapse. Okay. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. eliminate it completely, but it lessen the chances. Mm -hmm. You're saying still, you still feel like mm -hmm. that. Oh, that's crazy how that happens. It's, yeah, it's frustrating actually. Yes. Like ah, you're so tired. Am I doing it? Mm -hmm. Um. So if you did want the upper, like I said, I can just do whatever wherever I can. I have clearance. I can do up to there. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sounds good then. Okay. I've heard it all Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should have listened when they said that you Would treat me like he did mm -hmm. She did it all Situation makes me feel I'm not a man at all for I be this fool that I catch you for I guess I couldn't handle it Oh And I know you're probably thinking I ain't worth it But I never want anyone to bring you any harm And I take it all back just to have you in my palms And I know for a fact who we were and who we are All right, guys, so let's get into it. Just to close out the entire braces journey, um, I'm going to wrap up what happened at the dentist, and that'll be all. So when I got to the dentist, she basically was telling me that she couldn't put my, she couldn't do my top retainer because I don't qualify. That's what she said. Um, in order to qualify for a top retainer, you have to, like, your teeth can't overlap one another. Your front teeth can't overlap your, your top teeth can't overlap your bottom teeth. Because if you bite down, you're going to break the retainer off. So I was telling her, like, yeah, you know, I hear you and all, but I kind of need a permanent retainer. Regardless of all of that, I need a permanent retainer because the I had the clear one in right now. If I take the clear one out, within 10 minutes, my gap is opening back up. So she went ahead and she um, decided to do the permanent retainer, but she only did it for my front four teeth. So my permanent retainer only goes across my front four teeth. She said that's the most that she can do because otherwise I, it might break off and it's going to be a waste of my money. So we did that. Um, as of now, it feel normal. It don't feel like anything is there. I did end up getting my retainer size, my, my top clear retainer resized so that it could fit on top of my permanent retainer so that fits good everything is fine she's still telling me don't wear them both at the same time so that's what they saying y'all i don't know why but i'm still wearing them both at the same time um and she was just telling me that don't rely or uh, don't rely on the permanent retainer rely on the clear plastic retainer because that's the one that's going to keep the gap closed she was saying that it's really hard to have retention meaning keeping the gap closed once the braces come off just because the teeth just they naturally just want to go back to how they were so it's really hard for the gap to remain closed but the clear retainer is supposed to be what's going to keep everything closed and how it should be so i'm gonna keep holding on to the clear retainer and keep wearing it she said she told me to also make sure i'm sleeping in the clear retainer but i do that anyway because i've been wearing both all the time 24 7. Um, what else? Oh, they clean my teeth. They clean my teeth really good. That's probably the best thing they ever did for me. They clean my teeth. She cleaned my teeth so, so, so good. My teeth look really good. Um, I'll probably insert a couple clips of what my teeth look like, what my smile looks like. It looks really good. Um, on my gums, it's like a little, like I had like a bruise or it's just, it looks red and inflamed, but it's not, it's, it doesn't hurt or it's not irritated or anything. I think what happened was that I ate something hot and it kind of burned my gum. So that's why it kind of looks like a sore right there. Um, what else do I want to tell y'all? Because I don't want to miss nothing. Because I think this is going to be my last braces update, y'all. I'm so happy. It's been about three years now that we've been on this journey. I know I've, Y'all don't look, my bed is a mess. I know I've inspired a lot of people. Um, I know I've motivated a lot of people to go and get braces and fix their teeth or whatever. So 
I've had an amazing time on this journey with y'all, but I think we're pretty much at the end. Like, I'll probably come back in like six or seven months or something like that. I don't know. And do an update if y'all really, really want that. And now I'm going to move on to the process of teeth whitening. <laughs> so, I didn't get my teeth whitened when the braces came off. I just got my teeth cleaned, which is what I got today. But I have a teeth whitening kit that I've been waiting to use. Let me see if I can get it for y'all. So these are the teeth whitening strips that I'll be using. I'm going to be using both sets. Um, me and my boyfriend, we got these like probably almost over a year ago. So I hope they're not expired. Oh yeah, they expire. This one expired in January 2023. And this one ex expired at the end of the year. So one of them is one hour express. This is the one hour express and this one, this is just the professional effects version. So I'm going to be trying both of these out. I'm going to, I don't know. I see one of them has eight strips and this, the, the one hour express has eight strips and the professional effects has 40 strips. So I'm probably going to just start off with the, um, the eight strips, the one hour express we're each for an hour. I'm hoping that I can like put them on and then still put my retainer back on top because keeping my retainer off for a bottom, that's, I mean, keeping my retainer off for an hour, that's a risky move. It's not risky because once I put the gap, once I put the retainer back on, my gap is going to close right back, but I just get tired of the back and forth. Like I just want my gap to just be closed. But um, y'all leave a comment down below and let me know if y'all want me to document if this actually works. I can do, I'll do this one. I'll do the express version um, for treatments. So I guess it'll just be me showing y'all four days of if the teeth whitening is actually working. And then maybe or maybe not, I'll come back and show y'all the professional one. But I'm really excited to use these. I've been waiting on the day for my braces to come off so I can use them. So... That's pretty much all for the update, y'all. That's it. I'm going to show y'all the clips of my teeth, like I said. And that's all, folks. I thank y'all so much for being on this journey with me. And I don't know. I hope y'all have a better experience with child dentists than I had with mine. Because if there's anything that I could take back, it would probably be the dentist that I went to. Like, I just feel like the work is decent. I'm not mad at the work. I'm happy with my results. But I just wish that... My dentist was more professional and more, just more professional. That's all. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.